Senator Amanda Chase has filed a complaint with the Virginia Department of Elections after her primary loss to Glenn Sturdivant in a Chesterfield anchored state Senate district. Now it comes the same day as the Department of Elections certified the results of all primary elections. Maggie Marshall has details tonight on what experts say it means and what's next for Chase. No, I will not concede. Two weeks following the Virginia State Senate primaries, a candidate is challenging the election. Republican Senator Amanda Chase, who represents Chesterfield County, filed a complaint Wednesday. Officials say she lost the primary to Glenn Sturdivant by nearly 400 votes. If the State Board of Elections chooses to ignore our complaint, then we have other remedies that we hate to use, but we will use. And the complaint she is asking for a hand count of absentee ballots and a full forensic audit of voting equipment. In the past week, she has taken issue with the process of certification of early voting machines. It undermines the trust of the people. Claims the Chesterfield County Registrar disputes, saying they are in compliance with state laws. On the same day the complaint was filed, the Department of Elections certified all election results from the primary. The certification says that the election is over, that the State Board of Elections is comfortable with the results, they've been reported accurately, and they have no, no qualms. It has no impact whatsoever on how they're going to act. They have acted. The Board of Elections has certified the election. CBS 6 asked Chase why she still plans to pursue this complaint, despite the results being certified. Why still challenge it? Well, because I'm a fighter for the people. And if you give me a 1% chance to uh, contest something, I'm going to stand up for the people who voted for me and supported me. Chase says those remedies are launching a write-in campaign in the fall so she can still have a shot to hold her Senate seat in November. Chase stated she also raised $10,000 to help get legal consult to fight this. We didn't want to file a frivolous lawsuit. We didn't want to file a lawsuit that didn't have any standing. So it took some time to raise the money. It took some time to have our attorneys to take a look at the best strategy moving forward, which we believe at this point is going to the State Board of Elections. Her attorneys told her that the law doesn't include primaries. So the only means for her to file a lawsuit would be if the Department of Elections agrees to the recount and audit. They then would have to also find evidence for a lawsuit to be brought. At this point, it has nothing to do with evidence. It has to do with the law. And that was our Maggie Marshall reporting. The Department of Elections declined to comment on this situation. We are also still waiting to hear back from Sturdivant, but in past statements, he has said that he remains focused on his campaign to win the seat in the fall.